right now on the Adam Carolla Show. From Bad Religion, Greg Graffin and Jay Bentley on the Adam Carolla Show. Thank you, thank you. Well, always great to see Bad Religion. And uh, the guys are going to be at the House of Blues in Anaheim tomorrow night and uh, Wednesday night, yeah. as well as uh, April 3rd through Four. 5th. Sixth. Ah, sixth. All right. And Vegas. And Vegas as well. This Saturday and Sunday, the 28th and the 29th. Where are you playing in Vegas? House of Blues. Mandalay Bay. All right. We're on a House of Blues run, 25 shows. Do you guys, um, is, uh, I called you a punk rock band. Do you like being called a punk rock band? How are you you. not a punk rock (laughs) band anymore? we've, we've, We've shifted over to the alternative spectrum now. Yeah, I mean, I, as long as you don't call us emo, we're in, fine. No, How dare you? In, 19, <laughs> in 1997, mm-hmm. you know, then we start. Then people started saying alternative because mm-hmm. it was somehow, you know, um, an acceptable form of music. Punk has never really been acceptable. Uh, you know, there's not even a category for it in um, a lot of. Uh, Award shows and yeah. things like that, like the it's Grammys. It's unbelievable, in fact. I mean, when Green Day wins a Best Album of the Year, it's not Best Punk Album of the Year. It's right. have to stick it in some other category. So Right after Jethro Tull. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do sort of feel, it's weird, but I think of punk as being a lot of attitude, but not a lot of musician. Well, you're right, but and, and that's, I feel that's like Bad it. Religion plays their instruments too well to be a punk band. Sadly, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean that's I, debatable. I, yeah. I'm I'm just saying you guys are too good a band to be a punk band, and I don't mean that as a slight to the punk band, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but when when at least you know I was only a teenager when we started the band, but uh, all of us were just teenagers. But uh, we were not comfortable with the stereotype of punk, as you just uh, mm-hmm. outlined it. And uh, we wanted to... We did want something more. Yeah, and we wanted to be able to be recognized as songwriters and good musicians. But there well. was also the point of, at, at the time, talented musicians were not us. We were 15, and so it was easier to be in that mold of punk rock where you only had to play three bar chords and right. get away with it. And what year are we talking about? 1980. And, how, and so we're going on... 28 dude. years. Of bad religion. and years of bad religion. And there was not, as I recall at least, nobody took five years off to do solo things, did they? Right here, dude. Jay, you did? I well, worked in a machine shop. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's a gig. That's not a solo project. That wasn't, that wasn't, yeah, that that was, was, that long, was a job. What is the longest, the longest in that 28 period, years um, you guys have not played? The longest period between records was 1983 to 86 or something mm-hmm. we did an ep without jay mm-hmm. he that's when he was at the machine shop yeah, yeah. He, what happened then, uh, there into the unknown yeah <laughs> <laughs> now jay wait a minute did you go to canada who went to canada I, i'm there now oh jay you're yeah. in canada now now Right. Okay. I'm done. I'm finished with you people. <laughs> Trying to uh, figure that out because I'm, I'm planning my escape as well. Canada seems like a good place to escape. Uh, yeah. I, uh, Run away and throw rocks back. That's right. Canada doesn't trail. appreciate, though, being called an escape um, asylum. It's really... Right. <laughs> we don't care. It's Come on up. <laughs> So uh, Bad Religion is uh, not only going to be playing at the House of Blues, but they will be playing in my movie as well. Yeah, but, thank you for that soundbite, by the way. Oh. saw the movie last night. How did you choose their song, Adam, for that scene? It fit the scene. It did, it did. didn't it? Yes, it did. Yeah. Jay, you saw the movie I did. last night? Yeah, my son is a boxer, and my girlfriend, who is, I'm number three to you in Broccoli. Uh huh. So <laughs> she loves she loves me, you, then broccoli, broccoli then, then you. me, then you. She dragged you kicking and screaming oh, to no, my I, movie I, I, last well, night. We, we kind of all went out and saw it. So. Mm-hmm. Honest opinion, great movie. Really, yeah. really enjoyed it. Yeah, little tearjerker at the end. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. And um, well, you know what? Hunter, I, as the boxer said, no, there's no way I would have just knocked that. <laughs> so, but but the scene where the bad religion song was in, very fitting. It fit very nicely. Very well done. Yeah, I think uh, we have the song. If, uh, it's a, it's an I don't know. It's a seething anger. It, you know and what it, it is? It sort of explodes. It's, it's the first couple of lines where he says, "Now here I go, hope I don't break down." And you're you're on right. the heavy bag. Who right. said that? Toggle bolts. Well, he didn't say it. it was, <laughs> it's implicit. It's implied in the lyrics. Yes, it, it is. Uh, but it's it's the turning point of the movie that this song is. Nice. So it's where he decides to no longer be a seventy. 
five percenter. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just I always love this song and two things actually to be honest. A, I love this song. B, I thought I could pick up the phone and maybe get Greg on the blower <laughs> and see if he could give us a little love. Because you should have tried. We, we I'm easy to reach. You know that. We didn't. We didn't have a big music budget. We have some really cool songs in the movie. A lot of people comment. Yeah. That uh, wow. Score. For a low budget mm-hmm. movie, you really got some cool songs in yeah. there. And the thing about songs are they're very expensive. And some people own their own publishing. And some people say, "Love to help you, brother," but, but I don't own the song. Right. Uh, bad Religion, you guys have done a pretty good job of hanging on to your work, right? Pretty much. We can help you out. <laughs> bad Religion, yeah. good accounting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 28 years, you don't get away with 28 years without owning everything. So, like we were talking about earlier with the Jacksons, we got everything. Well, Bad, I mean, you guys are arguably <laughs> the smartest band in rock and roll, punk, or whatever we've, new wave, or I'm whatever we've say non-arguably. Or whatever we've decided <laughs> to call inarguably. it. I mean, when it comes to degrees, now, Greg, what do you hold these days? Uh, well, I uh, don't... Are you talking about degree. academic degree? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hold a lot of Martial arts. I hold a lot of but, He was taught um, fry cook at Wendy's for years. I think since I've seen you last, it's been about three years. In the last two years, I've actually been uh, teaching at UCLA at, uh, in a completely unrelated field wow. in uh, evolutionary biology. So Wow. Um, uh, uh, those are my academic um, activities these days. Do your students know that you're in bad religion? Uh, some of them are probably listening right now and saying I should have said something. <laughs> they, came, they came to the show in Anaheim and I told them to give him a way harder time in class. Yeah. I want more yeah. paper airplanes. So you must have a, a doctorate then to be teaching at that level. Yes, I have a PhD. Oh. Yes, I, I tell you. Uh, from an Ivy League college. It's from Cornell University. Um, nice. Highest suicide rate there. <laughs> That's a very, good, very, very good little known fact. I don't know why I know that. Greg told you know me that? he had to run serpentine <laughs> through the quad to dodge the bodies of the people that were throwing themselves off the bell tower just to get to class every day. As a matter of fact, higher mortality rate for the people they land on. Yeah, right. Yeah, because oftentimes they're spared, they're cushioned by the co-eds they land on when they toss <laughs> the themselves. Stage dive. Well, it's right. academically yeah. competitive, and That's plus there's no sunshine. That's yeah, right. That doesn't, doesn't help. The <laughs> ultimate mosh pit. All right, we need to take ourselves a break. God's Jay mosh and pit. Greg here from Bad Religion. I'll tell you, uh, T, we've talked about it before, and uh, Greg and Jay are uh, very intelligent. Perhaps they could offer some insight to this, but... There was a study about people who threw themselves off the Golden Gate Bridge, which I found very alarming, speaking of jumping off of things, that uh, I was very interested in. And I'll share that with you, as well as uh, more bad religion, more music, more movie. Bad religion at the House of Blues in Anaheim tomorrow and Wednesday, also April 3rd through the 6th, and then it's off to Vegas Why don't you guys toss out your website so people can uh, track you down? MySpace. Ah, (laughs) and what would you do? Just do Bad Religion? Just type in Bad Religion. Good Uh, times. You can also do uh, BadReligion.com. And it'll take you right to MySpace. (laughs) (laughs) Bad Religion in studio. We'll be back with them next. Back to the Adam Carolla Show from Bad Religion's latest, New Maps of Hell. of hell from bad religion out now more with bad religions greg graffin and jay bentley on the adam carolla show thank you thank you well greg and uh, jay two of the smartest guys in rock and roll known these guys for many many years done uh, love line many many times bad religion since 1980 has the band been together? I know I said that like an old Jew. Jay <laughs> is now uh, headed up to the Great White North, but uh, was nice enough to come back in town and be uh, dragged to my movie yesterday evening by his uh, wife, who's a bigger fan of me than she is of he. And Broccoli. And Broccoli, which I uh, enjoy. And uh, the the uh, song from uh, Bad Religion, I think Infected was, uh, that was what the one. we played in the movie, was uh, featured so prominently. <laughs> At the turning point. At the turning point. So perfect. 
So uh, we were talking, and by the way, uh, Bad Religion is going to be in Anaheim at the House.